What's up, what's up, what's up? Just DVJ Pena House, a carry song. Today I am off and I am going to, I was talking, I'm just cruising around and stuff. Anyway, this morning I went to Starbucks to learn about HTML and stuff like that. I think on Udemy or something like that, they got these, um, these um, tutors and stuff and sometimes they have specials, um, sales and stuff, so I jumped on one of those. So anyway, I'm sitting there, and one of the workers, this one girl, um, she look all right, nice body and everything, and every time she sees me, she always works smiling. I'm not sure if she's a manager or whatever, but she's always smiling and stuff, really nice stuff. So I'm thinking about maybe I should just chat with her and see what she's all about. But you know, sometimes in Japan, it's kind of difficult to tell if they just do that because of just work and stuff like that, or sometimes they do send signals, but um, you know, it could just be a little flirting thing or whatever else you know, is kind of hard to tell, but you know, only one way to find out, right? So anyway, I'm sitting there and it's this lady and it's her daughter comes and sit in front of me. I don't know how old her daughter is. Everyone out here, they look real young, but she could have been, I don't know, 19, 20, 21, 22, but she looked, she looked kind of young too. So it was really different, difficult, but I'm thinking, cause her mother was there too. And, um, just the way they were uh, kind of reacting and stuff. I'm thinking she's maybe about 21 or 22. And from the, I was looking at them, they both were facing each other. I'm sitting at uh, perpendicular from them. So I'm looking at their faces and you know, they got the um, jaws and stuff like um, black people. They're not all black people, but the ones where it comes out and stuff like that, I forget the name of it. And <clears throat> the mother had, her upper lip was kind of thick, the little one, the small one was kind of thin, but the, um, not thin, but like a little, not half the size, maybe three fourths the size of her upper lips, but they were thick though. And she was kind of like tan to dark. And her daughter, um, she had, um, she looked, you know, black like that too, but she, both her lips were like thick and looking real nice. I was like, wow, you know, but the mother was more attractive to me than the um, girl. I don't know why. I don't know, I just like older women and stuff, because maybe it's just the um, the maturity level and stuff, and um, the conversations and things like that, you know. But um, it, was, it was real cool. And then I was thinking like, oh man, when I go to Osaka, I'm gonna see if I can um, take pictures of these women's lips and stuff, you know, and just see if they'll let me do it and stuff. But if they do, I'll be so, that'll be so cool. Just um, put those up on YouTube and stuff. But um, how can I say that? Um, but usually when I think about doing something, I always forget. Well, because I mention it, I forget. But um, it's cool. So then I just called one of my friends and I said what they were doing. And they're going shopping. I was like, yo, let me go along there. And they're like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it was a girl. And one of my, um, uh, what is it? One of my uh, ex-student's mother. But she's divorced and everything. But she cool. Oh, she's in my um, videos. Um... Kishi out of Meg, so I'd seen what she was doing, but she was like, she's with her daughter, and I was gonna go, but I got to think, ah, uh, maybe if I go, I don't know, maybe because her daughter's gonna come too, so maybe you know, they need that mother and daughter binding. So I was like, okay, forget it. I won't go and stuff, so I didn't go. I mean, so I didn't go, so now I'm going to Osaka. A couple of friends, one friend he said he might come up, but I don't know, it's not here, it's like people are like, oh, you know. I'm going to come up and see you, you know, I'm going out and stuff and and everything and then you say something else pops up, you know. One friend is like, you on a soccer? I'm like, yeah, but it'll take me a couple hours to get up there. He's like, well, I'm going to be driving for four hours. I was like, whoa, four hours. And I'm thinking to myself, ah, this guy is probably not going to come, especially if something else pop up. But if he comes, I'll be really surprised. And um, it's cool, though. Know? Because a lot of my friends that I have, not all, but a lot of people just like, um, send me, hey, what's there to do there? And what's going on in Osaka right now? And <laughs> it's like, I'm a 411 out here, you know, but it's cool, it's cool. So now I'm just cruising. And so right now, this is Kishiwada area, da 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 da. And I am cruising up to Osaka. Wow, I can't believe. Wow. Well, that was really dangerous. And so, um, I am going to Osaka and just drive around for a bit and 
drive around, maybe go into um, American Motor Park, talk to my um, my friends, my African bros, they cool and stuff, and uh, chat with them. It's funny though, how they get this, uh, you know, people walk by these stores and go in and buy things, come out and stuff. So it's good to their success. And then after that, I might just pop on over to Homachi, to the Starbucks, and see who's in there. Maybe have a tea or something. Call up some friends, but I don't know. Everyone's always busy. Like it's like when I'm free, a lot of people are busy. When I'm not free or doing something, and they're busy, or they're free on me. And then tonight is Friday. I would love to go dancing, but I gotta go do some stuff tomorrow. So. I have to go home and sleep early today, so it's all cool. But I had some, you know, I had some fun. Usually I hang out by myself a lot, and it's really fun. But what's real cool, though, is like when um, I'm hanging out by myself, and I'm just, um, what am I doing? I'm just observing and just sucking in all this information and stuff, right? And then... Um, like sometimes these women, they'll come over and start talking to me or they'll give me play or not play. I wouldn't say I say play, but they, you know, they give me these hints that they want to talk or whatever. And because I'm so um, into whatever I'm doing as far as, you know, looking or whatever that I don't really pay attention. Or then when I do pay attention, sometimes I'm like, OK, so I'll go over there and say, hey, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Go through all the uh, introductory stuff. Hey, what you doing? You know, I might get to talking. And I, I'm serious. After that, I really don't have much to say. And so I sometimes I think to myself, what did I used to say? And then I remember I really didn't say anything. They don't want to do all the talking and stuff, you know. So I'm like, okay, fine. So I don't know. I'll see what happens and stuff. But what I do like doing, I think I've mentioned this before in my videos, is that uh, I like talking to them and, um, and uh, what is it called? Um, you know, just trading line numbers and stuff just for the fun of it. And that's it. Matter of fact, I might call Ryan Boundless and see what he's doing. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that. I'm out. Peace.